independent and dependent variables. Describe independent and dependent quantities and functional relationships. In a function, the input is the independent quantity, the output is the dependent quantity because the value of the output depends on the value of the input. Here we have the independent quantity x. And we have the dependent quantity y. When a function is shown as a graph, the independent variable is shown on the horizontal axis and the dependent variable is shown on the vertical axis. Okay, let's look at a problem. We're going to break it down. On average, a young tree in Jackie's yard grows four feet a year. The function h equals 4y represents the height of the tree in feet after y years. Which quantity is the independent quantity in this relationship? which is the dependent quantity. Okay, let's look first at time that has passed. Time that has passed is the independent quantity because the number of years that have passed determines the height of the tree. The height of the tree is the dependent quantity because the height of the tree depends on how much time has gone by. And four feet, four feet is ex expresses the rate of growth, which is the constant. So that number four is neither independent nor dependent. Okay, another problem. Mr. Wu is driving at the constant rate of 65 miles per hour on the expressway. The function d equals 65h represents the number of miles d he has traveled after h hours. Which quantity is the independent quantity in the relationship? Which is the dependent quantity? Which is neither? Okay, miles traveled is the dependent quantity because miles d depends on hours driven. The speed is, is neither. This is actually the slope or rate of change. The word per lets you know it's the slope as well as being the number next to the independent quantity. 65 miles. Neither. Again, this number is the speed or rate of change or correlation coefficient. Now, hours traveled, this is the independent quantity. Time is usually the independent quantity. Okay, let's look at a problem here basketball. Jake averages 20 points per game when he plays basketball. What is the functional relationship between the total number of points that Jake scores and the number of games he plays? And here we have uh, choices A, B, C, and D we need to pick out. Okay, the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves what comes first? What comes first will be the independent quantity. Okay, so now we have to think. Do the games come first or do the points come first? When he looks at the calendar for the year, does he see on um, January 13th, okay, that'll be 24 points. Or what does he see on the calendar? Does he see a game on the calendar or points on the calendar? No, what's scheduled first is the games. And so the games are going to be the independent quantity. And so Therefore, the number of points is dependent on the number of games. Games come first. So points are dependent on the games. Okay, another problem. Wildfire. Wildfire is consuming 500 acres per hour. The function A equals 500H represents the number of acres it consumed during H hours. What is the independent quantity in this relationship? Well, as a hint, time is usually independent. But let's look at this number. 500, that's a number. That's not a, a quantity. That's not a variable. A number is not a variable. And so 500H is not a term that's an independent quantity either. It has a number with it. That doesn't count. Okay, it's going to be H. Time is usually independent quantity. So hours comes first, and then that determines how many hours determines how much acreage is consumed by the wildfire. One thing we have to remember is money is dependent. Think about it. Do you get paid first, then work, or work first, then get paid? The amount you are paid depends on how much you work. Money is usually dependent. So let's look at an application of the graphing calculator. We have this uh, equation, D equals 65H. That's Mr. Wu's uh, speed driving on the highways, as I recall. 
So we go to our calculator, or y equals view, and we enter this equation into y1. Now, we can't use anything besides x as a variable in this view, and so we need to put in instead of 65h, 65x. And we can use this equation to determine how far Mr. Wu is driven. We press second first, then we press the window key, and it gets us to table set mode. Well, in table set mode, we can go over to the independent variable column and change auto to ask. And once we do this, we can go to second graph, and we get to this view, and here we can input whatever we like. In this case, I input three, and pressing enter, we see that three hours gives us a driving distance of 195 miles. So we can use any equation that we want to that is solved for a, a dependent variable and just put it in Y1 and then adjust the table set menu, then go to our table view and put in how many ever values we want to determine. So just a final hint, when trying to decide which is independent and which is dependent, remember that money, cost, or revenue is almost always dependent in time. Hours, minutes, seconds, years, days, weeks, months is almost always independent. The independent happens first and is the foundation. What results is what becomes why. Hope this video has been helpful and enjoyable to you.